Old Man here, and we are about to take down another dead tree. That story is coming right up. We've got another dead tree removal here, except it's not on my property. My house is right over there. I'm actually on my neighbor's property and we've got a nice big old dead tree. Check this out. Way up there, way up there. And just like the other two trees we took down, half of the branches are missing up at the top. And if I had to put a height on this, we're probably looking at about 50 feet with a base of about 18 to 24 inches. All we are going to do here is drop it into my property over here and then we're gonna cut it up into fairly large pieces and we're gonna kind of try to move them over to help uh, distribute some water that keeps flooding into this area here just to kind of divert it back to the back of the property. I am going to do a traditional cut on this. Uh, the home boat cuts uh, that I've been doing uh, I still need some practice on. Uh, I don't see a lot of moss or anything growing on it, but you can tell just by looking at the top that the trees and the limbs on it, it's got vines growing on it, so it's, it's definitely dying off. Clear some of this out. Gonna get the wedges out here just in case. Meantime, let's get this bad boy up and running. This is almost a down and dirty, quick dead tree removal, except it's on my neighbor's uh, property. So we're just gonna call it a down and dirty dead tree removal. Not necessarily quick. <laughs> really nice cut here and you can see you got a nice big open face here 
The back cut's really nice, it's clean. <clears throat> We've got a little bit of a Dutchman over here. So you might get a little bit of twisting, it's about an inch. I don't wanna go too much farther back because I'm already halfway through on this side. So we're just gonna leave it like it is. I'm gonna start my back cut. Once I get in, we'll leave a little bit of the hinge there. I'll probably put in some wedges and then uh, we'll try to wedge it to get it to fall. If not, I'll cut the, uh, the hinge out a little more. It should drop almost right on top of this little tree here. And uh, my neighbor doesn't mind if that one comes down. So this is a pretty healthy tree to be quite honest at the bottom here. It's just dead from the top and then that'll start seeping down towards the bottom. This is gonna be something else, all right. The anatomy of the cut here, yeah. this is a fantastic cut. Okay. The hinge is a little bit high, the, the back cut, a okay. couple of inches, but it's even all the way across here. We got the holding members here and perfect third of the way through, you know, one, two, maybe a little more, maybe 40%. Mm -hmm. And then the pack, back cut was nice and smooth. And after some more consideration, we have decided that we are just gonna leave the tree right where it is because it actually, is going to work out as a natural dike for the water that comes down through here. So check it out. So when it rains really heavily in this area, the water comes down in here. And what used to happen is it would just come through and then go over to my neighbor's yard and start flooding his yard over there. But now we have a natural barrier here. So what should happen is the water's gonna come off uh, up through the center here. It's gonna hit here and then we still have a slope going that way and it should divert the water right underneath the tree there. It's almost perfect. And then the water should flow all the way back uh, normally. So the last thing for me to do is I'm gonna cut this up straight. We're gonna leave the stump here. There's nothing to do on it. We're gonna wrap this one up, call it a day. We're gonna move on to the next tree. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.